Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be sharing 10 of my favorite Dollar Tree products and items that I know you guys are going to love. These are newer items to Dollar Tree, but they've been around for a couple of months, so I've been able to test these out and see how much that I actually use them. And these are like what I feel like is definitely like go-to items that you need to keep on hand or look for if you're out at the Dollar Tree. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, make sure you are subscribed, and let's go ahead and check out these 10 Dollar Tree items that I definitely don't want to go without. The first item that I always make sure I have um, some of these on hand, and it's my favorite DIY tool at Dollar Tree, and it is these piercing and scoring like crafting sets. So it comes in a two piece, and I use these all the time. So whenever I am like painting to get the dipped uh, paint look on all of my jars, you can get like such good precision because these have like a needle point on the end, and I can scratch it away and make it look like it has more of like a straight edge. So many things that you can do with this, and it's dual sided so you'll get to use both ends but I love just um, scraping up the paint and touching that up and making it have like more of a finished look so so many times I need more of that precision tip so this is perfect for so many things I also love to use the back of this um, I use these Dollar Tree rub-ons all the time so it is so nice to just have this I always keep it like in a mug sitting on my craft table with my uh, paint brushes or pencils and you can easily just turn it over and kind of rub on the transfer you're going for. I use this um, to kind of get holes started whether you are trying to start a screw or one of these hooks. So, so many things you can do with this. I love it for my crafting. Let me know what you use these for, but they're just super handy to keep on hand and I just always want to have them in my crafting stash. Another item that you need, and this one is for the home. If you see these at Dollar Tree, grab a few of them, and it is these scarf hooks, so these scarf holding hooks. They also have little clips for like belts if you wanted to hang off of there. Some people have like hacked these to hang jewelry, but I love these to put into my closets because of these large circle holders that hold a ton of different things. So I love putting these in my girls' closets. They hold a ton of jeans, whether they are too big and they need to grow into them, or I'm just storing them away for the summer but you can see how thin that little hanger is it saves like five hangers hanging each of these up by their own individual hanger there's so many um, purposes that you can use this for I love to put their little dresses in there if they're off season maybe like if they have Christmas outfits um, this little skirt was kind of too small um, for this hook so I just went ahead and pulled it out but you can see like I drape over so many things and the two hanger which um, push together with all the clothes is like helping save so much space rather than putting 10 hangers there. So I love these, highly recommend them, and I definitely use them in every single one of our closets and even put like my leggings or scarves or anything you want to, but it just saves a ton of space. Next, I am sharing some of this glass etching cream. I was amazed that this was at Dollar Tree for a dollar, and it is supposed to be like the glass armor etch um, that you find in craft stores, which can be really pricey, so I was excited to try this, but it shows on the packaging like putting this on jars and glasses that you can etch out a little design. So I definitely went to my Cricut and cut me out a little stencil. Um, I just chose a heart to show you all what it would look like on one of these Dollar Tree glass mugs, and I will say I have used armor etch in the past and this isn't as great as that but you still get that same like etched finish so it's not as solid but it still works really well um so if you were going to do this as a gift you might upgrade to like a better one but just for fun crafting and making your own items um I did a couple of coats on each of these and they turned out really cute so I also wanted to show you how you can use it if you don't have a Cricut or have any stencils on hand that you want to use with this so I am just taping on some painters tape so that I made like a little design around the jar and it wouldn't just be plain so I just brushed it on it says do a super thick coat I did kind of like dab it on and it kind of was a little bit uneven so I wondered if that is why because I didn't just brush it 
But like I said, I washed this off and you could kind of see that it wasn't a solid layer of the etch. So I did go back in with a second coat and this really helped it. So definitely recommend doing a few coats of this and just keep applying it until you get the look that you want. I went and rinsed it off and it did bleed through just a tiny, tiny bit on the heart and more on the painter's tape. But I did, like I say, rinse this off and then do it again. So I think it's where I got my painter's tape wet. So look out for that. But this is really fun and highly recommend this fun little craft to do at home. For just a buck, you don't have a lot to lose, but it's really fun to use and really cute. So I was so excited to see this at Dollar Tree. I also think if you see any of these tarps at Dollar Tree, you definitely can grab them. They are a little bit smaller than ones that you would find at Walmart, but you are not going to find anything at Walmart that you can pick up for a dollar. Like I say, you are losing a tiny bit of space, but whenever it comes to spray painting, you really don't need like the biggest tarp that there is. So I use these for so many things. I love to spread this out on the floor and let my girls go crazy and use all of my leftover crafting supplies, um, but they always keep a tub of crafting supplies in my craft room, so they're all the time wanting to pull that out, and they spill on the floor constantly. So this protects my new floor as well as spray painting. I always keep one of these tarps handy by the door so if I'm going out to spray paint something I just grab one of them and they're just you can't go wrong for a dollar. They're just a great item to pick up and always keep on hand. I always overlook Dollar Tree's organization department. So I try to look for DIY reasons for baskets, but if you look hard and you're actually wanting to get your act together and organize your craft room, these little organizers are awesome. So I've never really taken the time to put all of my tiny things in an organizer and it has completely changed my DIY game, but I made one for my craft supplies and one for my office supplies. And I have like these big drawers in my craft table. So all the tiny stuff gets thrown in there and kind of just not sorted and threw together. So it's hard to find anything. So these really made it convenient and easy to use. I love having these in my drawers now just to take out. I did label them with my Cricut. I think these are adorable and, um, but you definitely can use Dollar Tree stickers and just Mod Podge over them if you're scared they'll fall off. But I feel like this really um, makes it easy and convenient. I can get in here and grab anything that I need and it's just perfectly sorted. So definitely um, pick these up if you see them and get your DIY or crafting area organized. Okay, so I know it sounds crazy, but this is one of my favorite pieces or items from Dollar Tree. So I actually stocked up on like 10 to 15 of these, put them in a tub, stored them away in my storage building, but I always want to have these. And in case they were broken or I figured out a new place to put them, I just was so scared that I wouldn't always have these or that Dollar Tree would quit carrying them. But I feel like these look so high end with that clear lid. The lid is plastic, but they are such heavy duty pieces and look high end. So I just love them. I put my makeup cloths as well as some bathroom organization pieces in there and I really use these every single day. So I also wanted to share though that you can take the lids off and kind of mix and match with the different jars. I found these cute little candy jars. These are the glass ones so they're a tiny bit smaller than the really large plastic candy holders but you can exchange the lids. I also um, want to share with you how I dress these up. You can like glue these little wooden um, cutout pieces that Dollar Tree has on the front and I filled them with like cool packets and suckers and little treats that I want to display on my shelf but there's so many things that you can do with these I just love having them on hand and I love that clear lid for so many reasons so definitely when you're in Dollar Tree try to exchange the lids always put them back before purchasing but try to play around with the lids and see um, which jars that you would like to trade them out with Another favorite find are these large signs with the wooden frame. So these are awesome. If you see them at Dollar Tree, definitely pick up a few of them, but I've used these for so many things. Today, I wanted to share with you how I made this adorable little wooden tray out of this, which is perfect for summer. 
And I was also amazed that Dollar Tree had out this pill and stick wallpaper. So definitely stay tuned in a few days. I filmed a massive haul that I'm going to be putting out and I'll share more details about this. But this was brand new to me. I was blown away that they had so many prints of this removable wallpaper and we'll be able to use this in our craft so much. So I definitely hope this is something Dollar Tree is going to be restocking and keeping on hand, but I was so excited. So I thought it was perfect for this project. So I definitely wanted to use the peel and stick part of this. So I went ahead and peeled off the back and put it in this sign and I'm making a little tray. And then I made some faux little rope ha rope handles. They don't go through the wood, but I just hot glued them to the top. So this would be for decorative use only. Um, I wouldn't pick this up by the rope hang handles on the sides but then I just displayed it with a little candle, but I was so excited for these wooden photos as well as this new pill and stick wallpaper. Let me know if you're seeing this at your Dollar Tree, but to me, this is brand new. I haven't been seeing it in crafting videos or online, so I could not believe it. So definitely more to come. Make sure to subscribe because I will be putting out that video, like I said, on that massive haul and sharing with you all of the different patterns that they have in just a few days. But I feel like this turned out really, really cute and just a fun alternative to get to use up those fun wooden pictures. Another really cool find at Dollar Tree is these dried floral pieces. So they had a big box of these and I just love them so much, but they also have different versions of the dried floral at Dollar Tree. I am going to be using one of these thrifted little pieces. I thought this was so funny. You can tell that somebody actually DIY'd this at home. They painted it white and put a little um, piece of jute string around the top of it so I thought it'd be fun to reuse someone else's crafting. I just got this really inexpensive but thought it was cute and went perfect with farmhouse. So cutting up some of this dried floral I am loving this blue color and I am scattering it throughout my whole house. I think it is so beautiful and just looks makes it look really homey and mixing it up from all of the plain neutrals which I'm still in love with. So I thought it would be fun to go ahead and put that down in this little picture as well as putting some in the backing, but just definitely keep your eyes out for all of this dried floral. I am finding it everywhere and just loving it so much. And then the last item that I have for you today is definitely pick up the Dollar Tree planters. So they have a ton of planters out right now. They have the really big ones that I've been using as well as I found these hexagon planters. So this is like a nice sturdy plastic and I wanted to just dress it up a little bit but keep it plain and easy. So I did hot glue some of this ribbon around the middle and I feel like that made it just have a little bit more of a warmer tone than just being a white plastic tub because after I put my floral in here it is hard to see even the gold rim at the top. So then putting in this some styrofoam as well as some floral picks that I picked up from Walmart. I'm putting the tall purple pieces in the center and then stuffing the edges with some eucalyptus that I found from Walmart. Very inexpensive and just a really fun piece. I set this outside on my patio, um, which I need to stain very soon, but I feel like this just turned out really pretty and I'm just loving all of these Dollar Tree items. Thank you all so much for coming along and checking out all of these Dollar Tree items. These are hands down some of my favorite Dollar Tree products that I know you need to pick up whenever you're at Dollar Tree and um, I just use them all the time so I know you guys would love them. Don't forget to leave me a big thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Happy crafting. Bye.